in the video this week I'm gonna pull the gauge cluster the OEM cluster apart and put blue LED backlighting in there all right guys so the blue Oxido t10 bulbs they fit perfect in here and the only, only thing about LEDs as you should know is they are polar which means if you have the negative and positive switched around, they won't light up. So honestly, you just gotta guess. I tried to figure out what side's negative and positive, and I spent more than five minutes on that and said, fuck it, and just uh, connected them in. There's only five bulbs for the illumination. So I put all five in, plugged it in real quick, turned my lights on, and only three were lit up. So the other two, I flipped them 180, and they were good to go. Seven millimeter gets the cluster out of the truck. And then I tried it because you know that there's green where the white is. And on the second gen, the blue backlighting pretty much drowns out the green. Well, on the OBS, it does not. So I'm going to have to try and scrape that green off the back because I want a true blue. And then you got a six millimeter to take this shit off. And I'm going to dive into that right now. Guys, so I was pulling off these needles. And what I was told is to mark. So I just took a little sharpie and marked where the needle sits on each one of these. Uh, reason being, there's no specific spot that they need to sit. So that being said, there's no tab or any uh, anything like that. So when you put them back on, you'll have to put them on exactly where they were. And what I used, I've heard of people using spoons. I use this, like a trim remover. So yeah, uh, I tried the LEDs, the blue LEDs with a green tint on the back. And it doesn't look how I want it to look. So... I didn't want to, but I'm pulling this off and I'm gonna try and scrape off that, that green tint. All right, this actually surprised me how easy it comes off. Um, I first did this, it says select right here, right next to the 70 miles per hour. Uh, I'll insert that pick right now. And you can see what it looks like. That was my little trial area. And then I started right here, the 80, but I just take the razor blade and literally just scrape it off. You know, don't be stupid, don't get too aggressive and scrape off all this black stuff. But uh, you don't have to because it comes off super easy. I was very surprised. It's still kind of labor intensive. It's going to take a little bit of time to do the whole thing. I want to do it nice. But, uh, yeah, I was a little intimidated because I had heard of people say, oh, they messed theirs up, whatever. But, um, no, it's actually pretty easy. Uh, don't be stupid. Don't start scraping everything. Don't cut everything. Don't, yeah, just nice and easy. And it comes right off. There you go. Alright guys, as you know, I'm going to be putting a diesel in this, so I'm going to be utilizing the gasoline tech, which goes to 6,000 RPM. I'm not sure what the power stroke one goes to, but I know, obviously, it doesn't rev as high, so the RPM does look a little bit different. But, I don't see the need on changing all that in my gauge cluster, or doing anything like that when I my gauge cluster works just fine I already bought the pickup wheel for the Cummins and the tack adapter so one thing I did like about the diesel is right here the 3000 to 4000 or so is usually yellow and then from 4000 to you know I think it the diesel only goes to five it's red and I wanted to try and get my gas cluster similar. So after I scraped off all the green, 
tint, I actually got a yellow Sharpie and a red Sharpie, and this is the results. Camera kind of picks up on it. I don't know. I think it, it's definitely more noticeable not on film. So in real life, it definitely looks more red and more yellow. But I'm going to be putting some uh, 4000K governor springs on the 12 valve. So, you know, three to four, 3500 is probably, probably a good shift point. But three... So four is yellow, then four and up is red. I really like that. Should look good. So there's the cluster. All done. Got the blue LED backlights. Filler gauges, all blue.